as we have seen in the last video about binary division we are going to see the binary division algorithm that is unsigned number so in this uh, we are going to consider uh, the algorithm for binary division in this we have we will consider the following registers a where we initialize the values to be zero and m we keep the divisor and in q register we keep the dividend and count is nothing but the number of bits in the dividend it will have then our say for example if the dividend is five digits means count will have the value five then we have to first we have to shift left the value of a and q one time shift left then we subtract the register the content of register a and content of register m that is divisor we subtract then we check the sign bit of a the leftmost bit if it is less than if it is uh, if it is uh, equal to zero or not we check if it is so then what we do is we make the q not bit that is the low, least significant bit of q to be zero else we make the least significant bit to be one so if it is yes and we make the least significant bit to be zero then we add a equal a uh, with uh, this divisor to bring back the a again then we decrement the count so here also we decrement the count then finally when we when the count is equal to zero then we end else we repeat the process Finally, when the count becomes zero, we'll have the quotient in Q register, and then we have the uh, remainder in A. Now we'll see the algorithm. This is flowchart. The same thing we'll see in the algorithm. The same thing. Initialize A, Q, and M register to zero. That is A to zero, and Q is in dividend, and M will have the divisor respectively, and the counter value to N, where N is the number of bits in the Dividend, which is present in our Q. Now shift A Q left one binary position. That's what we have seen in this. So lift this, uh, shift left one bit. Then subtract M from A, placing an answer back in A. If the sign of A is one, set Q not. That is lowermost bit of the LSB of Q Q to zero and add M back to A. So when it is one only, uh, we add it, or else we just Set the sign uh, Q not bit to one and do nothing. We don't add. So decrease the counter. After this step is over, we decrease the counter. And if the counter is greater than zero, that still more division has to be done. So repeat the process from here. Step from step two. Else stop the process and we'll have the final remainder in A and quotient will be in Q. Now we'll see the uh, we'll execute the algorithm with the example. Now let us take the example fifteen by four. So fifteen equivalent is one 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 one, and four equivalent is zero one zero zero. Now, as we have seen, A is all filled with zeros. Okay, so five zeros. We initially we start with five zeros. As this is having four, Q Q is nothing but uh, it is a dividend. So Q will have the dividend. So fifteen the value equivalent of fifty. And then M is the divisor, okay, divisor. So it is nothing but zero zero one zero zero. So we can have the divisor equivalent to the number of bits in A. So initially we'll have five, and here this four bits, and then M also made to be the five bits. Then we'll find the M bar plus one, which is nothing but two's complement of M. So here one's complement is one one zero one one. And then when you add one with it, you will get this value. So you will get this value. So for example, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Finding one's complement will give you this, and adding one with this, you will get one one zero one zero one one one. So. One triple one zero. This is the two's complement. 
since we are going to divide since we are going to divide which is nothing but equal to subtraction here uh, binary division can be done by using the uh, uh, subtraction repeated subtraction is what our division isn't it so that subtraction can be done by finding two's complement of the divisor and then subtract it from the dividend now first it this is the initialization step which is uh, mentioned in the algorithm which is initialize a to zero and q to dividend and m to divisor so that's what we have divisor dividend and a all zeros then we find the two's complement of this divisor divisor also and initially the count is four count is nothing but it is the dividend count one two three four number of bits in dividend is four so that is what so till it becomes zero we repeat the process now what process we repeat from step two shift a q left one binary position here shift left so so when we shift left now this goes here okay this goes here and swap and then the last bit the bit is left now here one is shifted here and this one here this one this one and that is the last bit you just put some square or some underscore like this okay that is you are not shifting m here only this is shifted one left and the last bit is made as this you can have an underscore now shift left that we have done so the next step is you have to add a equal to sorry you have to subtract see here subtract m from a placing answer back in a this is what we have to do after that do the doing that if the sign bit of a is 1 then q not is 0 so here if you see that see here a equal to a minus m what is a at this point this is your a okay 0 0 0 0 and 1 minus m means you have to find the two's complement of m and add. So already we have found the two's complement to add it. That will give you a minus m. One, zero, one, one, one. So see here, we have placed one, 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 zero, one. This is what we have. Then uh, you write the q as such. We have just started a minus m, and so q is copied as such. Then we have to check the value of the sign bit of a, which is the m must be. If it is equal to 1, what we have to do? If it is equal to 1, set q not to 0. If it is equal to 0, then set q not to 1. Once q not is set to 0, add m back to a. Let's do that. So here, what we have done is since sign this is one, we just add zero in Q naught. This is the last bit where we have put the underscore just in the previous step. So here you replace it with zero. Okay, so that's what here has been written. Q naught is zero. Add then add a equal to a plus m. So what is a here? This is the current a. This is added with m. So this is our a, isn't it? Just now I have written. So what is our m? 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. This will be back our 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Leave the time. See here? It's 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. OK. Now, and reduce the count. So now we have done after this. We have reduced the count. That is what the this step. Decrease the counter. If counter is greater than zero, repeat the process. Step two to this. Since the counter is greater than, now we have reduced four to three, and it is greater than zero. So you repeat the step. What is that? What step? This. So shift left A Q. So here what we have done. Now, uh, 
this is the current value of a and q now you have to shift them now when you are shifting it becomes here one to here and this is uh, this comes here and this comes here and this and this zero comes here and you put an underscore here okay then a equal to a minus some you have to do now when you do a equal to a minus what is a a is now 0 0 1 Yes, a is now. Uh, this is what our no. After shifting, this is what our a. So zero, 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 one, one. A minus m. M. When you do a minus m is find the two's complement of m and add with this. So this already we have found the two's complement. So one, one, zero, and all once. Okay. So this is our answer. This is our A now currently. So you see here, this is placed here, and you have to copy it as a Q. There is no change so far. Then, if it is one, you replace the Q not bit to be zero. That's what we have done here, and then add A equal to A plus M. This is A, and M is this. So when you add M, one. Zero, 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 one. Oh, zero, zero, one. See here, a becomes this. That is, we get back the the store the value of a. Now, we have replaced since it is one, we have replaced two not with zero. Okay, and reduce the count of two. Then again, shift left. Now, this is our current a. So now, this goes. Yeah, what is this? This is this is also shifted. Okay, zero is also shifted like this. And then here comes one zero zero, and the last bit we leave it with the underscore. Then you do the a plus a minus one. When doing so, you get this value. Now the This bit is zero. So far we get one. So when we get one, we replace Q not with zero. Now we get a zero. So replace Q not with one. And don't you this step you are not doing. This step you should not do. So now just set the Q not to one. See here and reduce the count. Now this will be our value, a value. Then with this value you we proceed to the next step because still one is greater than zero. So shift left here now. So now what happened? This comes here. Zero, zero, and then here. This one we have this zero, zero, one, and then underscore. Now we do a a minus m. So when you do a minus m, that is when you add these two. This a and this, which is equal to a minus m, but this is a two's complement of m. You get this value, okay, and you write as such the q value as such. Then you check for the uh, most significant bit, the sine bit of a. Now it is zero, so you replace here with one, and then decrement the count. Uh, when you have zero and replace here with one, you are you should not do the a plus m, okay. So now, when you do, now it has reached zero, and you stop the algorithm. So in Q, you will be having the question, and in A, you will be having the remainder. So now we have, uh, say for example, this fifteen and four. When you divide, what will happen? This is five, three times, zero, and the remainder is. The question is three. That's what we get, and the remainder is three. That's what we get in our A. 